before he forgets what day it is. Or who Come back after my alarm goes off! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Be what? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket. Unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. <laughs> some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my... Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul. Or did these tiki's get bigger? Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. Two, two hours later. Kids. <laughs> Hi. Nah. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Mm, no. Nah, still not cool enough. Huh? huh? Can I have this? What, this old piece of magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. 
Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh. Many moments later. I wish no. I wish no. I wish to wish. Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. <laughs> thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire. Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this. See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right. You really are my best friend. Ooh, more gel. Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. You do care. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky... Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. My best friend. Ouch. Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh yeah, that's a good stuff. Ew. Thank you. 
pizza. Eh. Ay, no, eh. Patrick, thank you. No, not the Krusty Krab. What will the brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now? And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this. Plankton, we'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. Yoo hoo! Over here, my little blunders. My adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Care Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly. The glue of reality. Your bubble stravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange world. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent! Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Thank <laughs> you. 
have a strong feeling we're not in Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride. Yeah, let's get lined and ready. I don't care what Cassandra wants with this stuff. The thing I is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. Eeyoy. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Persona paraphernalia! What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. several near-death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mm, I like ranch. Sticky sweet. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? 
That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. I'm feeling better already. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, and go! scored 35.7 points. Go around! Phew, that was a close one. Keep on smashing! Of six points <laughs> out of seven <laughs> only one point away from passing yay oh can we repeat the test it was so much fun oh no that's not necessary i, I didn't know you had fun fun is worth an extra point <laughs> here's your license thanks partner oh license <laughs> she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals, with the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Yeehaw! We made it to Manta Fay, my floating friend. My foot is killing me from all that riding you had to do. The sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie, but hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, in. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it zips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little catch of soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! <laughs> Taking on 
on them jelly bandits like that. Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw! Sheriff, Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Looks like it wants to duel. Looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them. Since the shortage... 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cacteen hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. Ooh, look! An old warning sign. It says... Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping it. There's Juicy Prophet. I mean, uh, Cacta. All around these parts. Now get! This is it, Patrick! That Juicy Cactus Gold awaits us! Yee! Ready. 
even a blind hog can find an acorn once in a while. Look at me go! A vain man will break his arm patting himself on the back. Confusion is a goat on Astro. Pizza is the pizza for you and me.
my best friend. Count on you, Patrick. Pizza for you and me. You really are my best friend. That's 
should cover my buns. Bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. Reaching them cacti, just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. Did you drop the money? I did you drop the money? I <laughs> juice in the barrel yet? Seps. Patrick, thank you. That should cover my buns. Sweet! Ouch! <laughs> 
Sad than that, boy. Oh,
my buns? for all they were worth. Chafing. <laughs> <laughs> 